Hey, it's Brian. Welcome back to the channel. One of the things we can do as video creators is we can customize our YouTube channel, allowing us to really uh, create a channel page that highlights our content in a very themed, specific manner. Number one, this is powerful on the branding level because we can create imagery that looks similar and the same, which is a big part of branding. Number two, we can theme our content. Understand that as people access your channel, they might come in for different reasons, for different topics and so on. A great example is here on my channel, I've got a playlist dedicated to authors. Not everyone's gonna be interested in that playlist, but those authors that are can find that information quickly. And at the same time, I've got another playlist that's focused around creating great videos by leveraging apps on the iPhone or the iPad. And I've grouped all those videos together, making it easy for those people that are interested in that information to access it by, well, leveraging playlists. And it all begins with customizing your channel. We'll talk about how you can do it in this video, so stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. The very thing that's needed to move your results forward. Let's jump on the PC. I want to show you just how easy it is to click the buttons in order to customize your channel and then how you can create the playlist in order to do that. This ultimately is the goal. Notice when you land on my channel, at the very top, if you're not a subscriber, we've got a little video here, it's two minutes long, and the text is subscribe, don't share your content, stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. Now, this is the value proposition, and if you haven't watched my video on branding and a value proposition, I'm gonna link to that video in the YouTube card now. So right away at the very top, I'm telling people to subscribe. There's a video and inside the video, this video is all about my channel. Now you don't have the ability to create a welcome or subscriber video until you turn on customization. Then as you scroll down, you'll notice that all my uh, videos are branded, they're using the same color palette, they're using the same kind of logos, they look the same. It's a, it's a cohesive experience, it's a statement. Furthermore, and I just wanna make a few notes, notice that as I critique my own channel, I'm adding lots of small reasons why this works. Number one, I've got a channel trailer. It tells people to subscribe. Number two, I'm using a branded images and thumbnails, and I'm combining those with a playlist, right? I'm using a playlist. Notice this is how to start a YouTube channel. This is the playlist you're watching right now. Then I've got another playlist, get more views. And obviously anybody with a YouTube channel that's interested in growing a channel would be interested in this. And because I've themed my content, I've created a congruent brand experience, it's really easy for people to understand why they should click that subscribe button. If you don't take the time to customize your channel, this is kind of what it looks like. The default setting is all activities and basically you get a, a, a list of the things that the channel creator has done. So here, Techno GI, who is a member of our Tube Ritual video marketing community on Facebook, uh, his last activity was he happened to like this video of mine, so it appears on his page, which is interesting because if you click this, it actually takes, uh, the, it takes the viewer to my channel. So now they might end up on my channel, they're gonna click back and they might subscribe to my channel. Uh, now if we continue to look at Techno GI's channel here, you'll notice that he did upload a video, he uploaded a, a previous video, so these are his own videos and that's awesome, but this channel doesn't really make much of a statement. Techno GI, gadget reviews and more, and furthermore, the word gadget is a little cut off in the channel art. Uh, now, I will say that Techno GI is doing a tremendous job and his videos are really fun, they're very unique. I can't remember, are, Afghanistan? I can't remember where you're located, Techno GI. <laughs> but they're unique. 
He's filming inside the base. He took some footage from a helicopter. There's lots he can do to create a brand experience that's more powerful and is going to drive more subscribers. And um, Steve Gamlin, uh, another member of the Tube Ritual family, is, is done a great job to turn on customization, but you will notice that he doesn't have a, a trailer video, a, a channel trailer video, which, by the way, I'll be creating a video in this series in the coming days talking about a channel trailer, the do's and don'ts, best practices, and how to create a trailer that truly converts more viewers into subscribers, so stick around for that. Another thing that Steve could do is he could incorporate more of a brand strategy with his playlist. So these are speaker preview vid videos, which is awesome. He's really creating and curating his channel in order to craft something that his potential target audience is going to be interested in. If someone is interested in hiring Steve as a speaker, if they see this, it's going to be easy for them to access videos where they can get a feel for what Steve is all about in his speaking abilities. One of the things he can do, however, is to add custom thumbnails that are uh, branded to the playlist so they stand out. And again, here's my channel experience. So notice my author uh, thumbnails for my book marketing strategies are all themed. They're the same color palette. They look the same. And it really helps me to create a, a branded experience, yet not all my thumbnails are the same. If you want to learn about branding, then check out these playlists, which are more of a gray and a black uh, color palette versus my like YouTube marketing, which those always have a touch of red. Sometimes the red is the YouTube logo. Sometimes the red is uh, found in the actual text and so on. Now, by the way, if you want to learn about how to create awesome YouTube custom thumbnails, check out the playlist, uh, this right here. I'll link to that in the YouTube card. And these are some of the strategies that we want to implement as we create a YouTube channel experience that converts more visitors into subscribers. So how do we actually do that? What are the steps we need to take? So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your account. You're going to access Creator Studio and then you're going to come up to My Channel and when you access your channel, you should be on this page and you want to click this drop down menu and notice it says here customize the layout. Oops, and we, we clicked it. Customize the layout of your channel. So you want to click that and in doing so, click Save, and then when you do that, you have the option to add a section. And this is where it gets really powerful because you can start creating playlists and you can add different sections. All right, so now we're on my channel, uh, Brian G. Johnson TV, and you can see here we've got the uh, channel settings. I've got uh, customization turned on. I'm going to hit Cancel, and notice we've got two tabs here in this top section. We've got for returning subscribers and it says what to watch next and it's got my most recent video. Well that's perfect for people that are already subscribed. They don't need to see this which is the um, channel trailer and notice the channel trailer is really well optimized. It's very brief, just a little bit of information geared to get people to subscribe. It tells them why to not just share your content but to stake your claim Amplify your message and inspire action. Again, that's my value proposition. Link to that video is in the YouTube card. And then it tells how often I upload weekly, all the time, and then again, subscribe. So that's the channel trailer. And again, I'm going to go into a lot more depth on how to create a channel trailer that converts more viewers into subscribers. For now, what I want to share with you is that notice I've uh, configured and I've customized my channel very, very uh, specifically. The first part of that process is to create a channel that's broken up into playlists. Now here you can see how to start a YouTube channel. This playlist will probably have 15 videos or so and it'll be kind of the steps A to Z on how to set up a successful channel. And they'll all go in that one section which is going to basically, uh, it's going to look like this, right? Uh, this will all be filled in. And notice here, the iPhone and iPad video editing apps playlist 
it's got a fair amount of information. Now, I can move these up, I can move these down, and I'm grouping them in a way so that when someone lands on my channel, they're gonna see information that's grouped together. If someone's interested in YouTube channel growth, they're gonna see how to start a YouTube channel, how to get more views, etc. Then, once you've done that, you can come in and at the bottom of your channel, you can create a new section. Let's do that right now. What I'm gonna do is select content. I want to create um, a playlist uh, or some content that's based on a single playlist. I'm gonna select that and I can show vertical or horizontal. I'm gonna choose vertical and now what I need to do is find um, a playlist. Okay, cool, so now I'm gonna have a new playlist, iPad and iPhone photo editing apps. I've actually wanted to do this for a bit, so we're good. Let's add some videos into that playlist. I'm gonna select my videos, and I'm gonna go back a bit. They're gonna load, and I can just scroll down, and I can see that here are some of my most recent app videos. Best photo editing apps for iPhone. So I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna add video and it's gonna pop in. Um, and now we've got, this is the thumbnail that represents this playlist. I'm gonna add another video. We're gonna select, we're gonna add. Now we've got two videos in our playlist. Okay, so let's add that section again now. So I'm gonna come down to selected content. I want a single playlist, and awesome. I can add those uh, the playlist in now, and you can see here it is. Now once you've added the playlist to your channel, you can move it up, you can move it down, you can uh, remove it, and it's really just that easy. Now, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have, please go ahead and smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos on a regular basis that really cover the very strategies and tactics that I've used to drive online traffic, to make money online, to sell books, to create videos that rank to make money with affiliate marketing, and lots more. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Ryan G. Johnson!